Hello and welcome to my origami tutorial. In this lesson we're going to make a fortune teller, or in America it's called a cootie catcher, uh, that actually also can be used as a, a salt seller in, in some places and it's actually uh, in Japan I think it's actually used as the sweet fish. Okay, as usual we start off with our 7x7 seven seven inch piece of square paper, coloured on one side, stained on the other. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start on the plain side and we are going to fold diagonally so as uh, regular viewers will remember me saying line up the index fingers and iron out the thumbs unfold and do the same on the opposite side And, and you end up with an X. The point of the, the centre point, you fold all the corners to the centre, and that's called a blintz fold. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip over and we're going to uh, the blint fold again on the other side so you can still see the centre of the cross. So now what we do is the fold in half, like that, and the unfold, turn 90 degrees, and we fold in half the other way. And the unfold. Now, we turn the model over, and we see that we have these little pockets. What we're going to do is we're going to put um, three of our fingers and a thumb in there. So your uh, index finger and your middle finger go in the top two, your thumb goes in the bottom left, and your ring finger goes in the uh, bottom right. Uh, hopefully the camera can see that, but you push all your fingers in, and that opens it out like that, and you end up with something that can do It's kind of hard to bend over the camera and do that, but there you go. It's actually, actually I just remember that it used to be called a chess box when I was in school. Um, but yeah, normally people would write something on there like red, um, or like colouring, like green, blue, yellow, red, and no, um, B, L, Q, E, and then there would be things in the middle. And then after a given sequence, there'll be something written on the inside. I think I mentioned it used to be uh, used as a sweet dish in uh, Japan. Uh, if you have it open that way, you can just sort of uh, put things in there. Um, probably you'd want, you'd want to make a larger one for that. But uh, there you go. Uh, that's the Fortune Teller Chatterbox Coochie Catcher, uh, Coochie Catcher uh, or a sweet dish. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, I promise I'm not running out. Um, it's just that I'm going to try and make some of them themed, and January is a little bit of an open month. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Take care. Bye.